See, I've got, I told myself that these were unnecessary today since I pulled my hair back, but then I get all those wispies that come out in my face when I'm trying to put like foundation on. So whatever, I'm just gonna keep them in, okay? So hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jessica, welcome in. So today we're playing with some new drugstore makeup and one, okay, no, two, okay, three <laughs> of the products are ones that I have been dying to try and I finally have them. So. We're gonna be playing. I'm just like pumped to do this and try all these things. I've got some decaf tea because I promised myself that after 2 p.m. I would no longer drink caffeine because it's really, it really started messing with my sleep. And you guys know I love coffee and tea, but pff. So I've got my decaf cinnamon tea that is so, so good. It my, it's my favorite, I can link it below. I know they sell it on Target's site and I think in store at Target, but you can also get it on Amazon. And by the way, the decaf version tastes like the exact same as the regular version, which is, I feel like that's not usually the case with like decaf versions of certain teas, but in this case it is, so that's awesome. All right, first thing we're gonna try is this new product from L'Oreal. This is their Skin Paradise Water Infused Tinted Moisturizer. <sighs> Listen, L'Oreal, your prices are getting a little crazy, and look, what was the price on this? <laughs> $16.99, that is a mid-range price. Like that is no longer a drugstore price, so, as I always say with brands like this, wait till there's a sale. Ulta itself always has sales. Traditional drugstores, I mean, depending on where you live, like where I live, CVS's, uh, even like Walmarts and stuff like that, you can get them cheaper. And I will say this, Amazon, pretty much any brand is sold on Amazon by the actual brand and you can get them for way, way cheaper. So that's always something to keep in mind. I always forget that I can buy makeup on Amazon and then when I look it up and do buy it on there, it's so much cheaper, like five or six or seven dollars cheaper. There were some interesting claims. It says it has SPF of 19. I'm an SPF monster. I try to wear it every single day and SPF 19 ain't gonna cut it. So you need us, I'm sorry, I'll be your mommy here saying you need to put your sunscreen on underneath this, okay? So it says it gives lightweight natural coverage and that it's supposed to be 24 hour hydration. The bottle itself is really cool because it has these like water beads on them. And I just, I don't know why, but I love that. And I like, I'm like a texture person. I just really like it. But it's 70% water and it's infused with aloe vera and witch hazel. So it's got some just interesting skincare in it. So I have the shade Fair 02. I don't know that the shade is quite right. There's only like 12 shades, abysmal shade range. Of course, a lot of brands with like tinted moisturizers that are a lot more lighter coverage, they say they're more forgiving and that you could, multiple people could use the same shade, like multiple skin tones. So I don't know, but I did wanna try this one. Like I said, Fair 02 is what I'm using. I'm just gonna use my hand, my finger, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think this may be a little light, but that's okay. I didn't put on a primer or anything underneath it. I just wanna see what this looks like on its own. But honestly, if I'm going for a lightweight product like this, I'm probably not gonna take the time to do a primer. I just wanna kinda see what it looks like as it is, just right over my SPF. I need to do a favorite SPF video. I know I keep talking about it, but I already have some thoughts. <laughs> All right. Um, First of all, okay, seeing it without anything and with it, it definitely covers a little bit. I'm using natural light, so I've got this little light over here to help because the window's kind of more over here. And I turned on my ring light just now to see if it helped. And it was it's just, let me just show you. It's, it's just too much. See what I mean? On a rainy day, it just doesn't work. So we're gonna leave it off. I'd rather you see it in more natural lighting, but we're just gonna have to deal with shadow. Okay, like I said, just a little bit of coverage. If you had a lot to cover, I don't think it's gonna do it, but I wanna show you. Do you see how weird that looks around my nose? So that being said, so far, like that's a weird spot, but we're not gonna write it off right away. Let me try maybe blending it in with the sponge just for fun. It's gonna shear it out even more, so I don't think this would be the way to do it, you know? Who knows though? Who knows? Maybe it'll make it look better around my nose though, you know? Actually in the shade, is not bad. Once it's blended in, it really is my skin tone. Okay, it's so much better with the sponge around my nose. So maybe a sponge is the way. I'm literally just gonna squirt this right onto the sponge to do my forehead. Give that a try. You certainly don't need to use a sponge for this because I think the coverage is gonna be very similar either way, but it's just making it look a little bit more seamless the way I like to, plus I just like using a sponge. So we're gonna do a little bit more over here, see if we can build it. Yeah, it looks so much better even around my nose 
than it did before. Like my nose is still weird and it's always weird, but it looks so much better than it did before. So that is good. One of those shirts that just always shows your bra strap. So really, you know, kind of looking at my skin, I do feel like it evened my skin tone out a lot more. I definitely prefer using a sponge. My skin looks healthy. It's got that glow to it. So I could see this being something I grab for on those quick five minute makeup days. Maybe I'm heading out to the grocery store to run errands or whatever. And I just want a little something on my face, but I don't want to do the whole shebang with like a higher coverage product and concealer and all that. Like I do feel like I like the way my skin looks like this and it kind of looks like I woke up like this, like literally, you know what I mean? Because it's not super obvious that it's makeup. So as I think I started talking about earlier, I really do want to talk, I do a video on like my favorite SPFs because I have four or five that I go to time and time again that I repurchase that I recommend because I do think that facial SPFs can be hard to find good ones. And when you do find ones that work, you want to tell everyone you know because sometimes they're way too oily or sometimes they're way too dry and weird. Sometimes they're way too like, they give too much of a white cast. So I've really found some good ones. So I need to, I need to plan that video out. Let me know if you'd like to see it. All right, the next product we're gonna try uh, is the wrong shade, but I wanna try it anyway. So just bear with me, all right? We're gonna go through this, this adventure together. It is the L'Oreal True Match Eye Cream in a Concealer. <laughs> that is music to my ears. <laughs> I got like the second shade up, which was in one, two, which would be neutral one, two. I should have gotten the one that's like C one, two, cause it looks a lot lighter. I bought this in store and just in the lighting, I just took a guess and well, that was my bad. But I like the idea that again, it's got some good skincare in it. So if you're gonna be putting on a concealer pretty much every single day, why not make it one that like actually is gonna help your under eye area? So I wanna read the claims. Why is it every time I say claims, it's like claims and it comes out so weird and it's like new and I am I, am I okay? So it says, eye area will look fresher and less puffy in one week if you apply it every day. Oh, I'm sorry. Eye area will look fresher and less puffy in one week with the product applied. Interesting. 0.5% uh, pure hyaluronic acid, which is dermatologist top recommended ingredient, 24 hour hydration, good for sensitive skin. Uh, it's dermatologist and ophthalmologist tested for safety. We're just gonna try it out, okay? So like I said, this is a little dark for me. So we're just gonna kinda tap some in that area. And it's maybe a little orange. Hey, maybe the like orangey tone on me though will like really combat those uh, the blue I have there, you know? Listen, my puffiness has gotten crazier than ever. So anything that's gonna help that, I'm all game for. All right, so without and with. Let me zoom you in a bit again. <laughs> okay. So there it is with and without. Here, it definitely covered it, but you can still see a little of that blueness. Unless I'm using like a crazy high coverage concealer, that's typically what I can see shining through. And I don't mind it, because I do feel like it looks a little more like I'm still real, like I have real skin, you know what I mean? But it looks so much better than that. Yeah, it's definitely, I would be curious if I do like this, which so far I am, I think I will wait for a sale and buy the uh, next shade down, because again, this could be so nice to use on days that I want a decent amount of coverage there. Again, I want to put, look put together, but it's not like a day I'm going for a photo shoot. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that looks nice. It looks healthy. It definitely, if you have like oiliness there, it might not be for you because it definitely, I feel like kind of gives that more hydrated vibe, which I like. I have a little bit more normal to dry skin. So that's something to keep in mind. Really liking the way my skin is looking right now, I have to say. So all in all, those two products, I just now realized they're both from L'Oreal. It's so funny how in the same makeup brand, there can be such different vibes between products. Do you know what I mean? I don't think I just put a clear brow gel through my brows. I don't think I'm gonna do like any pencil in them today, but we are gonna try a new eyeshadow and I've been dying to try these. I swatched these a long time ago, like I wanna say a month ago in a vlog where I was just doing like a little drugstore sitting on the floor makeup haul. And I've been wanting to play with these ever since. Hi, Pinocchio. So the one I really wanna play with here, I didn't even tell you what these are. These are the Revlon So Fierce Little Quad. So this one is called Tantrum and it's called a prismatic palette. And this just looks so pretty. I'm a big fan of like these kinds of shades. So we're just gonna kind of mess with them. This, okay, let me just show you a swatch of this. I think that shade is so pretty. It looks like the shade Dusty Rose in the Maybelline Single Shadows. One of my favorite eyeshadows like of all time. I use it all the time, just all over the lid, that's it. I love it, you can find it like $2. It's so good, you guys. Anyway, so this looks really similar. So I'm just gonna kind of apply this the way I would that. This one's a little bit deeper. The other one's a little bit lighter and peachier. This one has a little bit more of a pink tone to it, but I like that. And I'm just gonna use a clean brush to blend. 
I feel like it blended pretty easily. Let's try tapping a little of this like, wow, white ivory shade on it. Just right in the center. So I want to use, I'm a little nervous, but I want to use this shade kind of in the crease. It's hard to tell. These are all kind of shimmery. So you're not, I don't think in any of these are you getting like a matte, matte shade. It's called the prismatic palette. So it kind of checks out that it wouldn't, I mean, that's not what it's there for, you know? And if you're a texture person like me, the feel of these shadows is really nice because it's got this like kind of bumpy texture and there's like a wave built into it and I kind of love it. <laughs> Sometimes though, when I do shadows, I have a little bit more pigment to them because you know me, I'm like the queen of like a watercolor, like washed out eye look. That's just what I like. Um, so sometimes when there's a little more color to it, I do feel like maybe I should put something in my brows to kind of match that intensity, we'll see. Digging this, it's really pretty. I don't know that I love all of these colors together. I mean, they look fine. Let You know what, Jessica, let's put on liner mascara and then look at it. Another thing I'm kind of thinking about doing just for fun is putting on this blue on my lower lash line. We were just talking about that in a recent video. I'm trying to remember which one. And I'm like, dang, I haven't done that in so long and it's so pretty. It's not a crazy bright blue. Let me get like my Fix Plus. So this quad, by the way, is called Fully Loaded. And if you compare the two, they really do look like these two shades here look a little similar. So I will say that shadow applied really, really well for what it is. This is clearly not a look I'm like, ultra comfortable with and it's not even that out there. I know some of you guys are giggling probably because you're like, Jessica, that's like not even a big deal. Like I know, but you guys know me. Okay. If you know me, you know that like <laughs> this is ranching out for me. So I need to do my mascara next. We're going to try one together. I'm going to throw on a little powder. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect. I did a comparison of the other L'Oreal powder foundation um, with the Fenty one because they're dupes y'all. I'll link it below so you can literally see it side by side but uh this i definitely feel like this tinted moisturizer definitely needs to be set i don't even have oily skin and i definitely want to set it so i can imagine if you did have oily skin you would also want to set it but i like this one because it's not quite as mattifying it's got a little bit more of a satin finish so if you have drier skin you might like this better than the other l'oreal one all right so next thing okay i have been looking for a dupe from the drugstore for the really expensive mascaras that I love. That would be the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. This is a tubing mascara, which means it comes off with warm water, but you have to have warm water. Like if you're using a makeup remover, it won't come off that, like it's just different. But it is really easy to get it off with warm water. I love it though, because these mascaras, they don't flake, like they do not smudge, they do not budge. It's amazing. So there's this one I fell in love with, and then the Thrive, cosmetics liquid lash extensions they're very similar to me i don't honestly i can't tell the difference and i love them but they're both like 30 dollars so so many of you guys said the maybelline snap scara is a dupe i have been dying to try this now i do have a video i'm working on that's a drugstore like it's literally the next video i'm filming tomorrow and it's a drugstore battle of the mascaras video and i don't know that i'm going to include this one in it so if you've seen that video and you're like, Jessica, why didn't you? Because I, I feel like trying it the day before is, it's hard to say, you know what I mean? I feel like I wouldn't have tried it for long enough. So the packaging I think is kind of cool. The wand is interesting. It's got a little curve to it, um, but it is more of like a natural bristle, which I like. So the claims on this says it's smooth, clump-free volume, easy on, easy off mascara. I got it in pitch black and it says it lasts all day. Just poke myself in the eye, give me a minute. I haven't seen myself with like lower lash liner and mascara in a hot minute and it's, I don't hate it, it's just different. I was, I've been so used to not wearing it. Wow. That's a lot of volume. I combed through it just now just to kind of get, there were a few clumps, but in all fairness, I applied like two and a half coats, so that's kind of on me. But it looks really good. I can't decide yet if it's performing or if it applied, I should say, the same as like the Hourglass one does. This is what the Hourglass brush looks like, if you're curious. Very, very different. And I feel like this one looks similar to the Thrive Cosmetics one. So this being a natural bristle brush, but maybe maybe with the same formula, we'll see. I'll be curious. I can put in the description box an update on how this mascara wore because if it doesn't flake and it's smudge free, then that is incredible. Like that's what I want. That's why I like those other mascaras so much. Okay, so I did throw a little something in the brows just because I felt like I needed a little bit more. This is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. So cheek product I want to try. This is the Milani Supercharged 
Cheek and Lip Multi Stick. I have it in the shade 110 Peach Thrill. It seems, I was swatching it earlier, super creamy and almost like dewy. And of course you can put it on your lips, you can put it on your cheeks. I think I'm just gonna go for it. You know? I know I'm putting this on on top of a thing, but I feel like products like this, like where the formula is this dewy, is a lot more forgiving when it comes to like blending it on versus a more drier formula, you know? I can try getting it on a stipple brush and doing it that way. Oh yeah, you can definitely do it that way. So that blended on really easily. I feel like it looks really pretty. I don't have any highlighter on and I don't feel like I need to because it's got that glow. It does make me wonder with the formula like this how it will wear with it being this kind of creamy, more emollient texture. So I will, again, put an update down at the bottom how this wore. So for lips, I wanted to try this new lip product. It's from Maybelline. This is their Color Sensational Shine Compulsion Lipstick. This, okay, do you guys remember the Color Whispers that they used to sell like 10 years ago and I friggin' loved them? These remind me of them a lot. This is $7.99, this is in Spicy Mauve. We're just gonna try it. It's supposed to be nice and shiny. It says it's like an oil in lipstick kind of balmy product. This has a lot of color to it though. Don't love the color on me. I just don't. I, I again, picked this online and that's so hard. If I were to buy another, which I might, I would go for Taupe Seduction because it just looks interesting. It looks kind of like a grayish pink, which I weirdly really like. And it reminds me of the one Color Whisper I used to love. And I cannot remember what, I think it was called Lust for Blush. I'm just saying it looks like, it reminds me of Lust for Blush. So we will see, I probably will get that one because I'm not, I, the formula of this feels so nice, but I'm just not totally in love with the color with my skin tone. Yeah, it says it's Maybelline's first oil in stick lipstick, has 60% reflective oils for an irresistible shine. It reminds me a lot of the YSL ones, and I'm pretty sure YSL and L'Oreal, like they're all under the same umbrella. So I have to wonder if it's a really, really, really similar formula to those. And of course those from YSL are way more expensive, but they feel very, very similar to this. I'm just gonna set the under eye here. This is that Liss Beauty powder that I didn't like all over my face, but I really have been enjoying this past week for an under eye powder because it just, did you see how it like flattened that whole area? They sell these at Sephora, but I think this one's around like $18. So again, it's near like the L'Oreal high prices because this is more of a mid-range brand. Anyway, I really like the way that, gosh, that did a great job. So I wanna take a second to kind of go back through these and say, okay, what are my initial final thoughts? You know what I mean? <laughs> Looking at what we tried today, the thing I'm the most excited about using again, like this week, like tomorrow, is the Maybelline Snapscara. I definitely feel like it curled, it volumized. I was able to brush through the clumps really easily. It really didn't clump much, but if you do try to pile a bunch on, it will clump a tiny bit. But I really like the way it looks, so I'm, I'm really hoping it wears really well too. But this is the thing I'm the most excited about. The thing I'm probably the next most excited about, to my surprise kind of, is the L'Oreal True Match concealer in a cream, or what do they call it, cream, eye cream in a concealer. I'm excited to get the next shade down because I really felt like it blended in so easily and even setting it with powder i feel like it still looks actually really nice like it doesn't look weird it doesn't look crepey which i really for sure thought it would i don't know why but the idea i thought it'd be too creamy and so it would just start looking weird but it's looking really nice. I don't think I tried anything today that was a total dud. I thought the eyeshadows are really, really pretty. I don't feel like either of these quads I tried today would, for me, be an everyday eye look. You know what I mean? I can get close and I still like it, but I know these aren't gonna be something I'm reaching for every day, but it's a nice formula. So if you found a quad that really spoke to you, because they have a lot more, then I would still recommend these shadows. I liked the Skin Paradise. Again, this is not gonna be my go-to, but for days that I just want something on my skin to even it out, but I don't wanna really futz with making sure it's blended in perfectly and this, that, and the other, this is gonna be something I reach for for that. And then the lip product, I really, really am liking the way it feels. It's very similar to the Revlon and L'Oreal versions of this same kind of product but it's definitely a kind of lip product I like where it's got that glossy sheen, but a little bit of color. So I did enjoy it. I really enjoyed how quickly and easily this Milani product was to use. 
I, it could become a favorite of mine, but it's really gonna depend on me paying attention to how it wears. Because if it doesn't wear well, then I won't reach for it often because then I'm just, I feel like it's wasting time to put it on if it's gonna be gone in like two hours. So yeah, I hope that this was a fun video to watch. And I hope, of course, that you will subscribe and stay tuned for more of my videos. I do a lot of drugstore makeup here on my channel. I upload three times a week, but I also do vlogs and other kinds of things in the beauty realm. So I'd love to have you join our little family here. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.